so this is a workshop if you all take out your phones you'll be able to learn something from uh, and take home and maybe use it on a day to day basis and uh, so what is the basic definition of ai as ashok said already ai or artificial intelligence refers to computers programmed to mimic human thinking and learning how can a doctor use an ai a doctor can use ai to analyze medical data quickly help diagnose diseases and offer personalized treatment suggestions thus enhancing patient care and efficiency in their practice how many of you have a laptop opened in front of you or at least a smartphone with you when you are talking to the patients sometimes the patient comes to us and ask us some questions which even we don't know especially if it is non orthopedic related and i have to refer supposing patient is taking some medication then they say they are taking calcium well, tell me the brand name then i find out that there is no calcium in that so we always have to have some access to the internet so if we have access to a app like chat gpt it can help this was the latest news that in us of course we all know that us healthcare is a little broken uh, 17 doctors over 3 years couldn't diagnose 4 year old child's pain and chat gpt finally gave mother the answers of course this is more sensational type of news it may have not got the right answer it may have just directed the doctor to that answer what was the diagnosis it was as simple as t third cord syndrome so what now is that what is the ai for ortho today so i'm going to talk on these four things one is chat gpt which i am sure everybody has heard anybody who has not used chat gpt or not heard about it you have not heard about chat gpt shabash <laughs> then there is pdf ai uh, i am sure most of you have using articles or reading articles or even ebooks now in the form of pdf and there is summarize anybody who has not used youtube in the last 24 hours <laughs> okay so summarize is all about youtube and there is blink ai so how many of you use instagram at least once a day ashok you don't use <laughs> so uh so blink ai will show you how to make reels using artificial intelligence so let's talk on chat gpt first chat gpt is also a mobile app those who have don't have it installed you can just install it right now the app looks like a white circle uh you can write what do i use it for i use it for write writing blogs for patient education my updated website will have a section where i can write blogs you can ask queries related to various objects uh, various subjects similar to it could be orthopedic or it could be patient education related you can get book summaries people who like to read novels or self help books or any type of books you can get those book summaries and you can compose letters emails everything using chat gpt by simple one line two line prompts so i'll just give you a simple example here of chat gpt this is the mobile app of chat gpt this is how it looks when you open it and uh, i'll just give it a prompt i'll give it on chat gpt 4 but it equally works very well 3.5 is free so i'll just give it a prompt consider yourself a knee surgeon so the prompt is very important that you tell the chat gpt what you are considering yourself consider yourself a knee surgeon and write a blog of sorry write a blog on patient education of knee replacement surgery for osteoarthritis of the knee that's it and see how it starts fast it start just starts writing introduction it gave you the knee surgery it is giving you all the details about what are the what require surgery details potential complications questions conclusion so it just gives you a ready made blog you just copy it and put it on your website you can copy it you can even make a blog website for free if you don't have a website of your own you can even put it as some parts of it as a screenshot on your mobile app status whatsapp status on instagram so there are so many things which you can use you can just share it as a you can just share this article to your patients whom you are trying to advise knee surgery and they are not willing so this could be for any subject just chat gpt so it is so as ashok uh, said that ortho ai is more for the doctors means for using for our education chat gpt is for the general education so let me open uh, chat gpt and show you some uh, live case scenarios you can do it with me it is very simple you go to this website called chat.openai.com if you don't have the app on your mobile and when you log in 
you have to just log in sign in with google it is very simple and you can just go here if you don't have 4 you can even go for 3.5 acha nahi dikh raha hai mere ko full screen mirror chahiye क्यों नहीं दिख रहा है तो एक्सटेंशन निकालोगे कैसे हाँ इधर है सॉरी इधर है हाँ सो सो दिस इज चैट जीपीटी लेट मी स्टार्ट अगेन सो दिस इज द वेबसाइट कॉल्ड चैट चैट डॉट ओपन ए आई डॉट कॉम यू कैन जस्ट ओपन इट ऑन योर मोबाइल एंड इफ यू हैव एन ऐप यू कैन ओपन इट देर एंड Say anybody uh, wants to write a patient education. Say Chetan, what do you want to write? Any topic? What surgery? As specific as you can. Okay. Consider yourself a physiotherapist and explain the exercises needed for the patient post-operative. fracture distal radius see the speed at which it is writing so it gives you a complete blog so this can be just a patient education on your website or on your blog or wherever you want to keep if you will know what a blog is how many people don't know what a blog is i'm sure everybody knows so blog is something which you can start on a google account also you don't need to have your own website that is how where you can start and eventually you can of course shift it to your own website because that is better because then you can push the patients to your website so all this is done then something like that ke what now this is patient is already got operated chetan now what you said that patient is already ours patient is got operated so basically this is good for the physiotherapist but not good for us now for example patient requires a surgery for uh, say acl so i'll just write again consider yourself an arthroscopy surgeon and write a blog for patient education for knee acl surgery see the speed at which it gives of course the chat gpt4 is little faster but still it is given quite good the uh, what it explains to the patient what is what all questions patients may have and what all questions you can ask them you can just refer them to this article so your explanation time comes very less and this you can keep it on your website so it becomes very easy for the patient to go and see ha huh, that this guy is caring about the patient that this he wants us to learn about the education it's very important to educate your patients in today's day and age this is one of the uh, case uses what about a uh, letter say so for example you want to apply for a fellowship or you want to make your own cv it can even make your own cv or for example you like to read books so let's see a popular book like the compound effect so maybe we'll uh, uh, start a new chat again and we'll write uh, consider yourself a book summary specialist and write me a book summary on the compound effect this is the same book chetan so it gives gives you a summary in no time so if you want to know about any book which you don't want to read yet or which you know that this is a good book i want to read it but i still want to know what it is about you can just go to chat gpt and ask these questions it's so simple as that so this is chat gpt now we move on to our uh, next part which is pdf ai i am going to talk only about ortho uses so you can do your whole review of literature by just uploading a article to this website the a website is very simple it's just called pdf.ai and you can get answers from articles and ebooks let me show you the only restriction is that you at any given point of time on this website you can only upload one book so let me open this pdf ai 
so i will just uh, get started for free and i have already loaded a full ebook in it essentials in total knee arthroplasty by javed parvezi and brian clatt i have already loaded this book of course there is a restriction in the free version that you can load up to a 10 mb size so articles can definitely very easily be loaded so i have just loaded this book now what do i do i'll just click on this and it will open the whole book for me here like this how it has opened and i can ask any questions for example what are the various implant choices for varus knee tkr i have not written total knee replacement nothing i have just written what are the various implant choices it will only look in this book and it will not look anywhere else gauro is this right see the speed it has just read the whole book and it has taken out not only it is taken out it will also give me the page numbers see how it has given me the page number here page number 117 page number 117 1 is to 42 so it will also give me that now it was a very vague question so now i can ask a specific question gauro do you want to ask any specific question what is the preferred analgesia for post controlling post operative pain actually the chapter is right here so it will pick it up from this chapter after total knee arthroplasty see neuraxial analgesia for controlling post what is neuraxial analgesia gauro can you explain so this is already there see this page is already there so this is how the pdf ai works so it can actually do a review of literature you can put a meta analysis in this or you can put a, any article where you want to do a review of literature it is very good for writing thesis for the postgraduate students it is even very good for us for if you want to read only specific chapters of the book or we want specific questions for our surgery you can just upload those articles and get those questions that so that is how a pdf ai works and uh, see this whole whole book is loaded here and this is pdf dot ai so we'll go to the next part now summarize dot tech now we get a lot of these podcasts nowadays i like to listen to a lot of podcasts or there are some long videos like long webinars which we have conducted on ortho tv but i don't want to go through the whole webinar so i just want um specific topic i want to find out if that specific topic is there or not so this is a very nice website it's a simple website it's called summarize dot tech and you go to this website and you just enter the url of the youtube video here say for example i'll open this summarize.tech here and uh, there are even recently summarized videos which you can get or you can go to youtube and click your own uh, select your own video say for all example i'll go to this video on a knee preservation webinar so close wedge sto ajit did you attend this ha huh. so say you don't want to go through the whole webinar of say 1 hour or 1 and a half hour so what i will do is that i'll just click this youtube link can you see this what i have clicked and i'll uh, go here go to this website called summarize.tech just open the home page and just click the video here when i submit it here within few seconds or maybe less than a minute it will give me the video summary in text format of the whole video where including the minutes see this see the experience observing close wedge speaker discusses the surgical technique so you want to know only the surgical technique so you directly click here it will open at that point so the, you can even summarize these ortho tv videos now so in text format and go only to that point so you say na kon 2 ghante ka webinar sunega you go to the webinar just click go here and just listen to what you want to listen that is how the summarize.tech works so all this has been possible because of the ai and uh, now after this sorry uh, so this is summarize.tech uh, after this i will connect my mobile and i will show you now how to make instagram reels using ai 
So many times we don't know what to say in our, sorry, many times we don't know what to say in our reels. So there is an app, it is called blink.ai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, huh. So I'll just open this app. See, this is how the icon looks. It's called Blink. It's called Blink. And uh, this is the blue icon which it looks. I'll just open it. And uh, there is very simple. You just log in and then there is a plus. So there is auto captions. There is AI translate. There is a teleprompter and there is script AI. So what I would do is that I will go to script AI. And I will just tell him that... Uh, Make a script under one minute for patient education on high calcium diet for fracture healing. And I'll click on. And what key points? I want to add key point about vitamin D and calcium rich diet foods so these are the key points then I'll just click on uh, now tone of voice I need professional because I'm a doctor so I need professional but there are many things casual whatever but because we are doing a professional thing so I'll just generate script so in within minutes or within seconds it will generate me a script what exactly it wants me to do See, it's generated. Now I want to record this script. So I'll just click on record. Now it'll give me three options, either camera mode or floating mode. Floating mode is when you want to do it with Instagram directly, but I want to do it camera mode here. So I'll go to camera mode. And if you see, there is a teleprompter coming up. So I'll just click. If I want, I can change the background also. I can change any background. So maybe I want to say, show that I'm indoors. So maybe I'll just click on this. And you can see that I am indoors and uh, I want to blur it and then I'll just start reading it. And then it gives me a countdown. Hey there, health enthusiasts. Today I'm going to share with you a quick and easy guide on a high calcium diet for fracture healing, whether you're recovering, whatever, whatever. And you can just read this whole script. This script will not come in your uh, video. And at the same time, if you already have a video which you have made, it will also generate, this app will also generate captions for you. So generate captions. See now how it will do. It's a small video, trial video I made. The generation of captions sometimes takes time depending on how fast or how accurate your English talking is. It's almost done. It takes, but still, if you see, it takes less than one minute to generate the caption. See this. And you can always place it here. You can, of course, change the font. So this is how it is. It's just a simple way of creating Instagram Reel without using anything, just AI. And you can just upload it this as a reel. You can put some background music on Instagram and then your AI video is ready. Instagram reel is ready. Uh, so this brings to the end of my... Yeah, this brings to the end of my presentation. So Blink AI is creating video script, teleprompter, auto captions, and it can also translate into a language if you want to translate it to Hindi. So the take home message from our workshop is that chat GPT use for writing, PDF.AI use for review, summarize.tech for YouTube summaries, and bling.ai for creating social media videos and reels. I thank you very much for your patient listening.